Hello and welcome to all in this video lectures series on C programming. We are discuss a basic things about the function. Means what is function? What is the difference between library function and user defined function? The different things that is the stages associated with the function that is function definition declaration and function call and the different types of functions that is functions with no argument no return functions with no argument with return functions with argument no return and function with argument and with return so in today's video session we are going to discuss one of the most important point associated with the function rather we can say a type of function that is a recursive functions so the any function is said to be a recursive function when the function that calls itself inside the body of same function again and again is called as a recursive function in short in function definition we are going to call the same function repetitively so when such kind of function exists then that function is called as a recursive function in recursive function the calling function and called functions are same so what is the meaning of it let us consider we are going to declare or we have declared one function whose name is a rec right so first this is a function declaration and inside the main function i am going to call this rec function so when the compiler is going to start the execution first it is going to execute the main then step number 1 then whatever the intermediate stages are there and then when it reached to this function call directly the program is transferred from main function to this rec function so we can say right now the main is a calling function and rec is a call function right so now in this rec again compiler is going to execute this successive stages and here if you see within this rec function same rec function again i am calling so right now no doubt when i am going to talk about these two here then the rec is going to work as a calling function and again the rec here at this stage is work as a call function so here the calling function and called functions are same means again when it is going to reach at this stage again the program transfer or the program flow of execution is going to call the same over here okay again from here this when the rec again execute line number 1 line number 2 say the successive stages again rec means it is there into this repetitive loop means the rec function is called again and again so when we talk about it here this specific means calling the same function again and again within a definition of a function is called as a recursive call means inside the definition of this rec function we are calling this rec function again so let to understand it better let us consider one simple program statement here is the program statement user prompted an integer number write a c program to find the factorial of given number using recursive function right suppose right now i am there with one integer say the integer is a num and i am going to assign a value say it is what 5 and i want to find the factorial of 5 right so how we are going to generally calculate this in a mathematics right so 5 factorial is nothing but what first it is 4 5 multiplied by 4 factorial So when I'm going to talk about factorial of four, it is calculated as what? Three multiply by so when I'm going to when I'm going to talk about factorial of four, it is what four into factorial of three. Corresponding to three factorial, it is three into two factorial. For two, it is again two into one factorial. 
and for one factorial it is one into zero factorial and for one zero factorial the value is what one here right so from this the one thing is simple and better to understand if i'm going to consider this as n then the factorial is calculated as n into n minus 1 factorial at every stage and when the things come at 0 to calculate the 0 factorial then here the result is what my 1. So one thing is simple and straightforward the n factorial is equal to 1 right when the value of n is 0 and it is equal to n into n minus 1 factorial when the value of n is greater than 0 right. So here this is a process. So one thing is clear right so when i'm going to calculate the factorial of 4 i'm going to consider the 4 as my n value then the i'm going to multiply it with what factorial of 3 so here if you see this calculation of factorial is a repetitive process say here the factorial and the same we are going to implement with the help of a function right so if i write here suppose directly i'm going to put here one function Suppose I am going to put here the function as say int fact and here, here is my number say uh, int n I will say okay and inside it right so we know that if n is equal to equal to 0 means here if the value of my n is equal to 0 as for calculation of this okay. So what will be that? The factorial of 0 is always what? 1. So directly it is going to return a value as a 1. And if no, means if the value is other than 0, then simple I am going to say return n into. Now this factorial symbol I am going to represent with a function as a fact. I am going to represent as a function fact here. See here fact. Let, let me change the color so that it could be better understood. So here the factorial symbol I am going to represent with one function. Right. So here inside this what is there factorial of again n minus 1 simple this n minus 1 factorial I am going to declare as one of the function and what is that factorial of n minus 1 right. So here it is n multiplied with factorial of n minus 1 right. So let us cross check this what will happen. Now say initially n is equal to 5. So in first iteration what will happen? Right. So now n is 5. Whether this 5 is equal to equal to 0? No. It is go to this else. So return. Return. The value of n is now what? 5. 5 multiplied with fact of n minus 1. That is 4. Right. So in the next iteration that means in second iteration so when i'm going to talk about when n is equal to 5 this specific step is going to return the value as what return 5 multiplied with factorial of 4 just try to get this when n is equal to 5 the 5 multiply by n minus 1 so it is 4 so the factorial of 4 right so again as the factorial this function the fact function is get recalled here what will happen the program is again going to call this function and now here the n is not 5 because now we are at this stage now it is going to hold the value of n as a 4 right 
so when n is equal to 4 now what will happen now when the n is equal to means inside it it is going to call again the factorial function by considering the value of n as a 4 now when n is 4 right as this condition is not satisfied directly it returns here so what will be my value so it is a return here 4 multiplied with factorial of that is a fact of 3 simple as per this declaration okay again here the fact 3 means now the n is considered as what 3 right n is considered as 3 so when n is 3 here the value of n for the next execution is considered as what 3 so for n is equal to 3 right so here 3 is not equal to 0 it go to this return function right so then what will be there return in bracket 3 multiplied with factorial of 2 in third stage so after third stage what will happen it goes to the again recall again recall this factorial that is a fact function now the value of n is treated as what 2 okay then for n is equal to 2 return into bracket 2 multiplied with factorial of 1 means we reached at this stage 2 multiplied with factorial of 1 right so now again here the value of n the value of n is now treated as 1 okay now again a return because 1 is not equal to 0 so return 1 multiplied with factorial of 0 now the value of n is treated as what 1 right and when the value of n is 1 directly it is going to jump to this statement fine so this is first call within this return the factorial function is called with n is equal to 4 so this is a second call then this one is a third this is fourth and this one is a fifth right again the value of n is now treated as a zero right and the moment at which the value of n is treated as zero n is equal to zero what will happen now here as the n is equal to equal to zero it is going to hold the value as what return one means now the function is going to give the value as a one so now this entire setup is considered say uh, for sake of simplicity i will rewrite the things again okay uh, just wait for a moment so that it could be uh, easy for understand to all of us i will directly write here the recursive function integer fact int n and here if n is equal to equal to 0 what to do so let me rewrite it int fact function and inside it int n okay and now if n is equal to equal to 0 what to do return 1 else return n into fact of n minus 1 okay. so this is a function right so now let us consider step by step the user has entered suppose n is equal to 5 so in first call the value of n will be what 5 okay so here the value of n is 5 now it goes inside this loop whether n is that is 5 is equal to equal to 0 whether 5 is equal to equal to 0 no it is jumped to this statement so now inside it it is going to call function return into bracket 5 multiplied with fact of 5 minus 1 so what is that 5 multiplied by 5 minus 1 that is 4 so it is what fact of 4 
okay so here fact of food means this fact function is again called here this fact and this fact is get matched and in a second iteration the value of n will be what food right so here in second iteration the value of n is what now food so for second iteration means from this again it is going to call the fact function with what n is equal to 4 so whether this 4 is equal to equal to 0 no it goes to the next statement so here it is 4 multiplied with fact of 4 minus 1 so that is 3 so now this statement is what return 4 multiplied with fact of 3 right now again this fact function so fact of 3 means what is happening this function again it is going to call this function with value of n as 3 instead of 4 now the value of n is what here 3 right so the next that is what 3 n is equal to 3 so now it is going to call the next stage so what will happen whether 3 is equal to equal to 0 no directly it goes to the next else return 3 multiplied with fact of 3 minus 1 that is 2 so it is going to execute a statement a return 4 multiplied with sorry it should be 3 3 multiplied with here 3 minus 1 it is now what 2 right so in short 5 factorial which is nothing but 5 multiplied with 4 factorial with n is 5 then next stage 4 multiplied with 3 factorial with n is equal to then again for this 3 multiplied with 2 factorial with n is equal to 3 right so this stage has been completed now next that is what 2 factorial so it is what 2 multiplied with 1 factorial with what n is equal to 1 okay and then for that it is again recall this fact function here the fact is now 2 and this is what 2 and 2 minus 1 because 2 is not equal to 0 again it is going to execute the name so now n is equal to what 2 so it is going to deal with what return 2 multiplied with fact of 1 right so to evaluate this in short to evaluate this it is going to execute this whole statement to evaluate this it is going to execute the whole statement now again for this we need to execute the whole okay now again one the n is written as one right so now in fifth stage n is equal to one and corresponding to here yeah, this this should be two sorry okay corresponding to n is equal to one so it is written in bracket one multiplied with factorial of 0 right okay so when 1 is there as usual here it is 1 whether 1 is equal to 0 no it goes here so 1 multiply by 1 minus 1 so that this will be 0 so here for this it is 1 multiplied with 0 factorial when n is equal to so in this way if you see here this fact function is here but first when we are going to see start the execution with n is equal to 5 right this fact function is get called within the same function again and again right so it is going to execute this n time and the moment at which we are here with the factorial of 0 finally the value is what this 1 right so here when for sixth stage when n is equal to 0 right because to calculate this fact we are here with an x 
when n is equal to 0 right now whether 0 is equal to 0 yes it is not going to execute the return directly it is going to give us a value as what a return 1 okay so this is the top to bottom flow one by one when we are going to call all this function and last when we get the value as a 0 now what will happen this function value this function value is nothing but what a return 1 now it is what 1 so what will happen this entire statement is going to return a value as a 1 multiplier with 1 so this is what this is a value of this okay so here for this stage it is 2 multiplied with 1 so here whole value for this is what 2 multiplied with 1 so now at this stage this 3 multiplied with 2 into 1 because this 2 is a value of this factorial right then for here because this is a value of this factorial so it is 4 multiplied with 3 multiplied with 2 multiplied with 1 right and the value of this entire is written back over here so now what i am going to get for this whole okay so it is what 5 multiplied with 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 in this way again the bottom to top execution happens so here the fact function again and again going to calculate the factorial and at last when the value of the n is 0 it is going to return a value as a 0 so that is again passed to the back step again in a back step again in a back step so in this way this fact function we are calling again and again and that's why it is called as a recursive function let us cross check this with a simple execution fine so here int fact int n the number is to deal with the number and here is the fact function first time i am going to call so without wasting the time let us check the stepwise execution over here so as usual pay attention towards this yellow colored arrow right so scan f percent d f number now the compiler is waiting for user's response so now i am going to enter 5 so the value of n is what now 5 correct now i am going to call x is equal to fact of num i am going to pass the num as an argument so the value of num is 5 so fact of 5 this i am going to execute so when i reach at this statement right the value of n the value of n is nothing but what the value of variable num so the value of variable num is get assigned to n and here earlier the num was holding value 5 now that value is passed to variable n so now n is 5 right so whether 5 is equal to 0 no it is going to return to next step so what is that return n into fact of n minus 1 so let us now check out here right now the n is treated as a 4 because just check here from here directly jump to the same function so now n3 n2 and n1 right now 0 when it is 0 so finally the value 1 is written okay so when 1 is written here again so means when uh, this n value is 0 the value of this return that is 1 is given back now for the 2 when n is 1 1 multiplied with 1 so the result 1 I am getting for 2 I am getting the result as a 2 now for 3 I am getting the result as what 3 then it is 4 and now 5 okay and just go back here so at the end I am getting the value of x as a 120 because it is going to perform this multiplication directly okay so in this way we can calculate the factorial of even number by using the concept of recursive function so to better understand this uh, let me declare one more variable say i will say variable y so here you will get an idea right so y is equal to n multiplied with factorial of n minus 1 okay and uh, here i will pass the value y directly so let us again re-execute it and check what will happen right 
so n is now 5 okay so check out here when I'm going to call this y it goes back 4 3 2 1 and when the value of n is 0 right so now just check out it is 0 so 0 is now written here so here the value of y will be what 1 that is 1 multiplied with 1 okay now next 2 now it is it will be 6 means it is 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 now in next stage what will be there 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 by 1 so my result will be what 24 so here now it's a 24 and for next it's a 120 so the value 120 is now returned back for this execution okay so output i'm getting as what now 120 here So in this way this recursive function is going to work sorry for this currently so in this way uh, the rec function here if you see seriously right the rec this fact function we are going to call again and so this concept is mainly called as a recursive function concept thank you